So to be able to start writing any PHP code, you are going to need a couple of things. The first thing is a web server. And the second thing is you'll need PHP downloaded and installed ready to go on your web server. Now we can do this manually, but it takes a little bit more time. I would encourage you to eventually try to set this up yourself, but just so we can make things a little bit easier for ourselves, we're gonna be using a predefined package that installs everything for us. And this is WAMP server. So what this will do is once we've downloaded and installed this, it will install Apache, PHP, and MySQL for us. So Apache is our web server. This just means that we can visit a page on our computer and basically serve the files that we're gonna be writing. And then of course, PHP is attached to that as well. So we can write PHP. Now MySQL is a piece of database software, which we're not gonna be diving into, but we do have other courses on that. So when you get to that, then you'll have MySQL ready to go. So there's a couple of things that we need to do before we start to install WAMP server. On Windows, this is a little bit more tricky. There's a bit more setup than other operating systems. So let me talk you through that now so you are ready to go and follow the rest of the course. Okay, so if we head over to the download section, this is basically where you are going to download WAMP. Uh, either choose the 64-bit or 32-bit version, depending on your computer. But before we do this, I just want to point to you at the SourceForge page for WAMP. This is just where WAMP is basically stored, ready for download. So there's a file here called readme.txt. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to this in the course links so you can find this readme file a little bit easier because it's a little bit difficult to find. And I'm going to go ahead and open this and I'm just going to guide you through some of the things that you're going to need to do before you install WAMP. So let's just take a look at this once it's finished. Okay, so that's finished and it's just opened this text file here. So this is a little bit annoying, but what you're gonna to have to do is down here, each of these links you're gonna to need to visit and you're going to need to install all of these files. This is just the uh, Visual C packages that you'll need for WAMP to run. So you'll need this one here and these two and these two here from this link and same with here and same with here. So this does take a little bit of time, but you're only going to need to do this once. So like I said, I'll leave a link to that file in the course link so you can very easily find this. And once you've installed all of them, we're ready to go and install WAMP. So I already have this downloaded, so I'm just gonna open it up here and I'm gonna just guide you through the installation if you're a little bit new uh, to this kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and allow this and we'll wait for this to uh, pop up. We're gonna choose this. Go ahead and read that and accept it. And of course, there are some notices here as well. Let's go ahead and hit next. We want to install it in C colon backslash WAMP, which is important because this is where we're going to eventually be writing on or at least saving all of our PHP files. So let's go ahead and say next and next, and then go ahead and wait for this to install. So once this has installed, we're gonna take a look around where this has been installed, and I'm gonna to talk to you in the next video about how we create our first PHP file. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish, and we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so that has finished, and what it's now asking us is, do we want to use a different browser than Internet Explorer? Now this doesn't really matter because throughout the series we are going to be accessing this on our own from whichever browser we want, and we're also in the next part gonna talk about uh, which text editor we're gonna be using. So what I'm gonna do is just press no here, and then when it asks me about the default editor, I'm gonna press no as well. So let's wait for this to just finish up, and then like I said before, what this is going to do is start Apache for us. It's also gonna start MySQL, so if you did want to dive into databases uh, in another series on CoCourse, you can go ahead and do that as well. So again, let's just wait for this all to finish, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so that has all finished. Let's go next and finish the installation. And you now have Apache and PHP installed and you're ready to go. So before we do anything, let's just head over to this PC, depending on the version of Windows you're using, go ahead and open this and you'll see a new WAMP directory just in here. So now that we hopefully have that all installed, hopefully you didn't have any problems, we can go on to the next part and look at creating our first PHP file.